Straight to live pictures now along I-4 near downtown Orlando. Some major traffic changes are underway. And if you drive in that area at all, you will definitely notice it in the coming days. New 6's Troy Campbell is live along Princeton Street near I-4 tonight. And Troy, one of the changes just happened. Yeah, so the on-ramp, the eastbound on-ramp here at Princeton to I-4 was scheduled to close about an hour ago. So far, it hasn't. However, when it does, it is going to be shutting down for good. It is never going to reopen. That's because come Monday, the I-4 Ultimate Project is set to hit a milestone, putting drivers on newly constructed permanent lanes. You just never know what changes are going to be there. Every day there's something different. Karen Walker says driving on I-4 for the past few years has been challenging. I have a crack in my windshield because of stuff being kicked up off of the road from the construction. So it's just, it's been a nightmare. Antonio Quinones says he understands the construction is for the greater good. But in the meantime, it's been a headache. People don't pay attention. They don't stay on the lane. They get impatient. They suffer from road rage. The Florida Department of Transportation says there will be several closures throughout the weekend for on and off ramps in the eastbound lane stretching from Gore to Lee Road. This includes closing down the entrance to eastbound I-4 from the westbound 408 overnight Saturday and shutting down all of the eastbound I-4 lanes between Gore and South Street overnight Sunday. Come Monday morning at 5 a.m., FDOT plans to open the brand new permanent I-4 eastbound lanes stretching eight miles from Colonial to Lee Road. The changes coming after flooding and debris blocked the lanes near Princeton Street during the past couple weeks after heavy rain. And we were at a standstill and then we couldn't figure out what was going on and there was all kinds of construction debris and water and it was awful. It was awful. Again, the closures over the weekend, they only affect the eastbound lanes of I-4. And again, uh, come Monday, they're set to open the new one. So for a full list of all those on and off ramps that are scheduled to close, head over to our website. We have them listed. Click Orlando.com. Live in Orlando tonight, Troy Campbell getting results. News 6. Troy, thank you.